Good morning, good afternoon. Today, I would like to tell you more about the difference between application registrations and enterprise applications in Microsoft Enter ID. Because those are two different things, uh, but usually administrators don't know the difference between these two. Sometimes they mix it up, uh, don't understand the consequences. So the intention of this video is to bring more clarity and hopefully give you the details and the differences between application registrations and entra, uh, enterprise applications in Microsoft Enter ID. Let's start with application registrations. I open my application registrations here, go to all applications, and these are all applications that are registered within my Microsoft Enter ID tenant. All applications that you want to use with your Microsoft Enter ID identity needs to be registered in your tenant. And that includes also the built-in default Microsoft applications such as Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, Teams, even this Azure portal. It needs to be registered in Microsoft Enter ID for you to be able to use it with Microsoft Enter ID. Because Microsoft Enter ID is the authentication and identity provider so that's the place where you do your uh, authentications. But in order to be able to use the authentication in some application and get access to some application, the application needs to be registered in Microsoft Enter ID, either as a global application or your local application uh, only for your tenant. All of the Microsoft applications and services are already pre-registered in the tenant. That's also the reason why you don't see it here because the applications are pre-registered for all Microsoft Enter ID tenants by default. You don't need to do anything else. You can just use it right away um, without any other manual steps of creating or approving the applications. But the advantage of app registrations is that you can actually create and integrate your own custom applications. So if you have, if you develop a custom application, for instance, for um, your employees to track their time or uh, report absence or anything else, it can be registered with Microsoft Entra ID, which means that users will directly use their Microsoft Entra ID identities to authenticate to your own custom application, which is extremely useful because you don't need to build and maintain any other separated identity system uh, with different usernames, passwords, uh, with different security policies and so on. We can easily integrate it with Microsoft Enter ID and get all the benefits of Microsoft Enter ID, including uh, security, conditional access policies and everything that's related to that. So definitely my recommendation is if you use some applications, register those applications with Microsoft Enter ID and integrate your identities You can create your own custom application here. The custom application can be either your own custom application that is available only for your tenant, which is this first uh, pre-selected option. It's a single tenant application. Or you can create an application that will be available also in other tenants. So imagine that you are a service provider or you have your customers, you do some B2B business potentially, and you want to allow your customers or partners to sign into your portal with their own identities and, I don't know, do something there, order something or schedule a meeting with you or whatever. You can create an application that is multi-tenant application. Multi-tenant applications allow you to publish or make this application available also for other external users or other external tenants. So that these tenants, these external companies can register the application or use the application also in their tenant and directly access it. Third option is multi-tenant application with also personal Microsoft accounts. So not only business tenants, Microsoft Enter ID tenants, but also personal users with Microsoft accounts such as the hotmail.com, outlook.com and similar can use this application. 
directly can sign into the application without uh, needing to register to the application first. And the last fourth option is Microsoft Accounts Only, which means that on the other hand, this application would be available only to personal accounts and not to corporate uh, Microsoft Entra ID accounts. So all applications before they can be used need to be first registered um, in the tenant. Then if you open sign in logs in Microsoft Entra ID, you will see that the identity usage is again some specific applications typically. You see also application ID. You see it also for the mentioned built-in application such as Exchange Online and so on. Because Microsoft Enter ID issues some tokens and the tokens can be then used to authenticate and get access to the registered Microsoft Enter ID applications. So that's uh, application registrations. Let's move on to enterprise applications. Enterprise applications in general are objects that users can use to access resources. So for example, users want to use their Apple Mail client on iPhones, iPads or Mac OS computers. This Apple Mail client needs to be first registered as an enterprise application. So enterprise applications are also called service principles. Enterprise applications can be used by end users to access corporate services, corporate resources. It means that enterprise applications on the background connect to app registrations. So for instance, with the example of Apple Mail client, Apple Mail client would probably connect to Exchange Online. So the Apple Mail client that would be registered here in enterprise applications will be connecting on the backend to Exchange Online uh, application registration. Again, the official applications are already pre-registered here. So users can use Outlook, um, Teams client, OneDrive for Business client and so on without any other manual steps. But if users want to use something else, it needs to be first registered as an enterprise application in Microsoft Enter ID tenant. Similarly to the example of uh, Apple Mail client. By default, end users can consent to enterprise applications. So if it's the first time that a user wants to use Apple Mail client, the user is asked for consent. If the user consents to the application, then the application on their phone or tablet or computer gets the refresh token and access token, which means that the application itself on the computer or phone or tablet can access the resources on the background, so can connect to the Exchange Online application registration and download emails, send emails, read emails, and so on. This is the reason why it's not recommended to allow end user consent because it means that users potentially may consent to also malicious applications and the malicious applications get access to users access and refresh tokens. That's the reason why it's recommended to block end user consent and require admin consent. You can do so uh, by going to uh, consent and permissions and by default it's configured like this. So allow user consent for apps which, like I said, means that all users in the organization can consent to applications, can register their enterprise applications. The recommendation is to change it to do not allow user consent, which means that end users will not be able to consent to any new application. They can still use existing applications if they are allowed to, obviously if they have the permissions to, uh, but they are unable to consent to any new application. You can potentially allow uh, admin consent requests. So if there is an application that a user wants to use, but the application is not yet registered within enterprise applications in Microsoft Enter ID, the user cannot consent to the application because we just blocked it here. 
but uh, the user can request admin consent, which means that the selected administrators here will get the request and can decide whether or not they consent to the application. If they decide to consent to the application, then the user and potentially also other users, uh, if the consent is uh, admin consent for the tenant, can start using the, uh, the application. If they don't consent to the application, it means that the user will not be allowed to use the application. And this is the recommended uh, way of having it configured. So that was all for application registrations and enterprise applications. Just to quickly summarize it, application registrations are all services or uh, applications that are registered within Microsoft Enter ID tenant so that your Microsoft Enter ID identities can be used to authenticate to those registered applications. On the other hand, enterprise applications, also known as service principles, are used by end users to access some of the registered applications in the tenant. That's it all from my side. Uh, don't forget to follow my cybersecurity word blog. Uh, follow also my social network profiles on LinkedIn and Twitter. And I look forward to giving you some other interesting tips and tricks on one of my upcoming videos.